truly feel that real Christmas trees have uh, therapeutic qualities. The Native Americans used uh, balsam for uh, healing uh, in all types of different ways. We do a lot of large trees. In the past, uh, we supplied a, a 55 foot tree to uh, Faneuil Hall. Uh, we've been putting a 25 foot tree on Boylston Street in Boston for uh, about 10 years now. Uh, some of our other more notable clients uh, include Apple Computer. Uh, a couple years back, uh, we put two Christmas trees in every Apple store in the world. Two at a time for efficiency. Here we have two different types of trees. We have balsam and we have Fraser. Balsam are characterized by having the strongest smell and Frasers last the longest. We guarantee this tree to Valentine's Day. It's that amazing. So holding them side by side, as you can see, the, the Fraser needle is much thicker. It sort of tends to spiral around the branch. It's lusher, has that rich green on top and that silver blue underneath and kind of shimmies when you shake it. Whereas the balsam has sort of a flatter needle that comes off the side of the branch, kind of like wings on a plane. And uh, it has a, sort of a thinner branch as well. So this one smells the strongest and this one lasts the longest. Well, you can taste them. They actually taste a little bit different. Uh, the, the balsam has sort of a, a, sort of a sweeter taste, whereas the Fraser is, is slightly bitter, but also very tasty. Both of them are great. We get lots of people that do the taste test. Some people don't do it, I don't know why, but most people that do, they, they really enjoy it. So I highly recommend you know, um, getting to know your tree, tasting your tree. All things being equal, I would say that the Fraser is, is probably the better tree. It's sort of like a balsam on copious amounts of steroids. It's, it's a great business to be in, and, and I'm very proud to be able to, to work in this, in this business. It's great to be able to work with my family, to uh, carry on a tradition. I love being outside. For me, the greatest privilege is to be able to be outside and working with the trees, to be physical, and to do something that I love. It's really a privilege for me that, um, that I appreciate very much. Yeah. <laughs>